Madam Deputy Speaker, in the face of enormous challenges, many of which we created ourselves, I report today on an economy that is proving the doubters wrong, as long as they were doubting that we could give more tax breaks to the rich. In the autumn, we made two difficult decisions to deliver stability and sound money. And once we got rid of Liz and Quasi, we also did some other stuff. The most important thing happening in the next tax year, which I definitely won't mention in this speech, is the freezing of income tax thresholds, which is an effective tax increase which will cost most people way more than all of the giveaways I mentioned today. The theme of today's budget can be summed up by the four E's. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Last year, the OBR forecast that this year we would be in a recession, but I can now reveal that this year we will not be in a recession. Technically. Which is technically a good thing. Just like Diet Pepsi is technically a drink. I'm going to bask in the positivity of the OBR report and let you find out for yourselves later that it also says that real disposable incomes will fall by more than 5% for the next two years. The largest two-year fall since records began. But oh, look over there. I'm reducing the price of a pint. Yes, that's right. We're reducing the duties on draft beer by 11p per pint. So when you get told how much your drink is, you'll still say, what? but slightly less incredulously than before. I'm calling it the Brexit pub guarantee, because it doesn't matter which pub you go into, you're guaranteed to find someone at the bar who still thinks that Brexit was a good idea. Uh, Brexit pub guarantee is also my nickname for Nigel Farage. So, to the E's. The first E is energy. Over the last 13 years, we have increased our renewable energy usage from 10% to 40%, which is entirely down to the government and nothing to do with improvements in technology. But let's be honest, there are days when the sun doesn't shine. Although if you're talking about the newspaper, we're usually bathed in a pretty warm glow. So I'm going to class nuclear power as environmentally sustainable. And just for a laugh, I might class Rishi Sunak as a good long-term investment. So, to the next E. E-inflation which is forecast to drop from 10.7% today to 2.9% by the end of this year. A triumph for this government. And we've achieved this by watching wholesale gas prices fall and not paying the public sector very much. I mean, that wasn't necessary, just a bit of a bonus. The next E is e-investment. We're removing the cap on pensions, which will help literally hundreds of the wealthiest people in this country. What can I say? Tory's gonna Tory. We're also introducing apprenticeships for older people called returnships, where you'll be able to learn crucial skills for the modern workplace, like what is a TikTok and how to keep your WhatsApps private, Matt. We want to get old and disabled people back into work because there are just too many vacancies in the jobs market. What else are we gonna do? Encourage immigration? How will that go down with a Brexit pub guarantee? The final E is childcare. E, -e childcare which doesn't mean we're trying to get robots to look after our kids. Although I'm offering a million pounds a year to anyone who can make that happen. We know that childcare is far too expensive, so we are going to offer free childcare for all children under two in two years' time. So it will only really affect children who are yet to be born. So get shagging, not you, Boris. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to mention swimming pools, just to keep Rishi on his toes. Can you get a returnship for Prime Minister?